Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Stevens. I'm the mindfulness teacher here at um, Fairdale High School. And I've got just a little presentation just to kind of go through what mindfulness is. Just to let you know, it's been going on about four years here at uh, Fairdale. Just while I'm getting set up, I'll um, tell you about that. But uh, kids come in, um, lots of kids come in during the school day, during their classes and get passes to come in. Um, so let me go through, just kind of, there we go. So right now during uh, NTI 2.0, you can't come into the room. I'm going to show you pictures of what it looks like for when we do get back and you'll be able to get uh, passes from your teacher to come in if you need it. But what mindfulness is, is just kind of getting to know your thoughts and being able to sit with your thoughts and your feelings um, and let them exist without driving your actions so that you don't, you know, a lot of times we get mad and say things that we regret. Uh, but this will kind of give you that maturity in your brain. It's called uh, executive function to help you um, just kind of ob objectively observe observe life and um, be a lot more mature about the way you handle things. Um, what's in it for you? Well, it can help you deal with tough emotions, help calm you down if you're sad, angry, stressed, or frustrated, which I'm sure a lot of that's been going on with this, you know, the NTI and the COVID-19, uh, the unrest in downtown Louisville. So a lot of that stuff, um, you know, we just need to, to maybe talk to somebody or just uh, do some things to help relieve that stress. Uh, it can enhance creativity and performance. So if you're really worried about a performance coming up, maybe you're an athlete or um, you're in music or theater, uh, it can help improve your grades, help test scores. So um, that's what the kind of things it can do for you. So um, what happens in the mindfulness room? Well, uh, the room is a little different, um, but for now for NTI, you'll just uh, contact me. So kind of check in and call me or there's other ways to, and then we'll just kind of talk as soon as I, um, you know, kind of find out what's going on with you and, and what you feel like you need. And then we'll do some kind of intervention like breathing. We have breathing techniques that can calm you down, meditation, uh, mindful moving, it might be yoga, it might be exercise, uh, mindful expression, maybe drawing or uh, journaling. And then we'll check out. So, you know, I'll check back with you and see, you know, well, do you think that helped you? And, you know, do we need to set another appointment? All right, so how to go to the mindfulness room. Well, this is how you used to go. You had a pass and, and hopefully we'll get back to school. Things will settle down soon and, and you'll be able to use these passes again. But for now, um, I've got, like every other teacher, we have these uh, slides that has each teacher's picture and name, how to contact us. So. Um, I've got a phone number here. You can text me or you can call me. You can email me. Uh, you can click on video links, which wouldn't be me live, but it would be, you know, if you if you can't get a hold of me and you think, well, I just might try some of this stuff that she's got. And then syllabus links, which I'll show you. And then here's stuff over here that will um, just other resources that you might want for mindfulness. But when you see my toolbox, when you click on those links, uh, I've got videos on how to breathe. Like if you want to know what taco breath is, you click on that and I'll demonstrate it. Bubble meditation. So I've got some meditations. You could just turn that on and, and lay down and do the meditation as I talk you through it. And then over here, we've got Google Meet. Uh, sometimes I'll have yoga and meditation you could join in. Might be more kids than just one. Or I'll just have times that are open where you could just click on a Google Meet and talk to me right there in person like you're coming to my room. And this is what the mindfulness room looks like at school. Um, we've got yoga mats, we've got exercise balls, we've got a corner of exercise stuff um, like dumbbells and, and different things, balance board. Uh, I've got a diffuser and some, um, uh, uh, what are they called? Lamps, uh, the salt lamps. And then here's a class that's doing yoga. So sometimes your teacher can bring you down in class and uh, kind of do some things. So. That's what it's for and just I hope to meet you and uh, please take advantage of this opportunity for the mindfulness room. Thank you.